grow up, the popularity of the Tanuki in Toyo has finally allowed the Japanese agency to do better deals where they can combine their own stars with own talent from own companies and have them appear on all kinds of programs. Many stars were later born through this method of raising the profile of unknown idols. Shonen Tai began their career in 1981 as backup dancers for Masahiko Kondo of the Tanukin Toryo, and it took them a total of four years to make their debut. They developed their overwhelming dance skills through a long period of intense training. Jani Kitagawa is also said to have called Shonen Tai the greatest group of all time. The group sang and danced well and had a series of big hits after their debut. One of the attractions of Shonen Tai is the quality of their performances, with all three members specializing in acrobatics. And performing perfectly. Match backflips and backflips in music programs and concerts. Noriyuki Higashiyama and Kazukiyo Nishikiori are capable of spinning with a microphone. Shonen Tai has given the group the image that Chinese equal backflips, but there are actually very few groups where all members can perform acrobatics. One of the factors that contributed to the stalling of Shonen Tai's popularity was the presence of their younger colleagues, Hikaru Genji, who debuted in 1987. Hikaru Genji had a series of super hits and created a huge boom. Of the three, only Noriyuki Higashiyama remains with the Japanese agency. Although he denies it, it is rumored that when he was younger, He was an accessory to the power harassment and sexual assault of Jani Kitagawa against his pre debut juniors. After Shonen Tai, the next big breakthrough came from Hikaru Genji. They skated and sang on roller skates, a style that amazed people. It originated in the roller skate wearing British musical Starlight Express. Hikaru Genji debuted as a campaigner for the play's Japan Tour. With their handsome face, they sang, danced, and even did backflips while wearing roller skates. With such innovative performances, they quickly rose to the position of top idol, and their popularity became a social phenomenon. Hikaru Genji achieved the highest popularity in the history of Japanese agency. Here are some episodes that illustrate the tremendous popularity at the time. It is customary for women to give chocolates to men on Valentine's Day in Japan. On Valentine's Day, they receive 20 truckloads of chocolates from fans. Production couldn't keep up as records sold out as soon as they arrived, so that an apology was advertised. In the newspapers. When Hikaru Genji debuted, the members were 13 and 14 years old. In 1988, when their popularity exploded, they were both still in junior high school. Under the Labor Standards Act, Article 61, which prohibits children from working late at night. They couldn't appear live on television or radio between 8 pm and 5 am. The singing programs alternated footage of the five singing in the studio with a VTR of a recording of the two. However, sometimes all seven members would appear together on live singing programs, and the situation remained unclear. As a result, The Labor Standards Inspection Office of the Ministry of Labor investigates the Japanese agency. The discussion then moves on to the country's parliament and related institutions. In the case of entertainers, the labor code no longer applies even if they are minors. In fact, it was considered to be a notice for Hikaru Genji. Who was at the height of their popularity at the time, 
and was commonly known as the Hikaru Genji no Des. But they quickly rose to the top of the idol game and then quickly fell. Male idols had to be good looking first and foremost, and they had to be good dancers, leaving aside their singing ability, which is what was required of the legitimate idols of the 1980s. During this period, two important idol TV programs, The Best Ten and The Top Ten, were important places for idols to perform. As popular songs were presented each week in a ranking format, it was impossible to appear on the show unless records were selling well, and appearing on the show functioned as a kind of idols. The 1980s were known as the golden age of idols, but around the late 80s, signs of change gradually began to appear in TV singing programs. When the top 10 ended in 1986, followed by the best 10 in 1989, ranking style singing programs began to disappear. This meant the disappearance of idols' place of proof of existence. The reason why singers are disappearing is, of course, that they no longer get the ratings they require. The declining attractiveness of the male idol as a product may have contributed to this. It was inevitable that the ranking format would result in the same faces appearing week after week. Gradually, consumers began to get bored with their idols. A new category music variety emerged as soon as singing programs disappeared in the 1980s. The conversations with the MC became longer and longer, with more laughter and singing, and the question began to be asked not only about singing, but also about humanity and the inner life. The reason for Hikaru Genji, the stalling of popularity, was that they had sold themselves on song. They became too popular as songs that sold too well equal male idols of the past. They were out of step with a variety-oriented market. Top idol Hikaru Genji as a fascinating stage and spectacular attraction. On the other hand, Shonen Tai is proud of its overwhelming dance skills. With these two groups, it can be said that Chani Kitagawa's long cherished dream of seeing boy idols shining and dancing on stage has come true.